An inguinal hernia occurs when the layer of tissue at the groin area is weakened, resulting in a sac bulging out through the weak spot, which holds a loop of intestine or piece of fat normally tucked inside the abdomen. It can become dangerous when the tissues, such as the intestines and the hernia, gets trapped and do not receive enough blood supply. This can cause the tissues within the hernia to die off. Surgery is required to repair the hernia. One surgery that can be used to treat inguinal hernia is a total extraperitoneal laparoscopic inguinal hernia repair. A small keyhole incision will be created for the device to reach the hernia, and a retractor will be put in place to keep the incision open. The surgeon will insert the trocar, which comes with a dissecting balloon. The trocar is a medical device used by the surgeon to access the abdominal area. An endoscope will be inserted to allow the surgeon to monitor the dissection of the space as the balloon inflates. Once the space is sufficiently dissected, the balloon will be deflated and withdrawn. The trocar balloon will be pumped using a syringe and the excess cannula will be held in place. A camera called a laparoscope will be inserted through the cannula. Once the working space is created, the surgeons will insert two more excess instruments through the other two incisions. This is to allow for better access and visualisation of the abdomen area. There are three main types, direct, indirect and femoral hernias, depending on where the hernia is located at. The surgeon will then use surgical instruments to pull the sac back into the abdomen. To prevent any sac from slipping through the opening again, the surgeon will place a mesh over it and use a fixation device to tack the mesh in place. The excess equipment will be removed from your body and the surgeon will close up the incisions by using sutures.